What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your host, El Diablo Mexicano. Hope you guys have a great day. Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Betrayer. So, in the last episode, we were exploring this area called Fort St. George, and we kind of found out the mishaps of the spirits in this area. We'll be moving on to the next area. In the last video, I didn't go down to the, uh, I didn't check out the road to the, I didn't look at the valley road before I was recording, and I decided I was going to do that now so I could save us some time so it's not much of a walking simulator. So we're going to be moving on to the next area and continuing on and being our lovely little ghost assistant, ghost whisperer, and kind of helping people out. So looks like this next area is called the Outlying Settlement. And we'll be running through here, seeing what collectibles we can find, and again, finding out what the hell happened in this section of the map. So far, we found uh, Spanish spies in the very first area. We found... Uh, a mom who committed suicide. We found rapist soldiers, which was kind of dark for a game. I was not expecting. I was not expecting to find that kind of content in this game. We found a lot of. We've heard a lot of different weird and dark stories from the ghosts in this area. My favorite one being the last one, where a woman was being accused of being a witch and was burned at the stake. So we'll be moving on from there, and we'll see how much darker this story can get. Um, looking at my gear, we have a the typical longbow. I haven't switched it yet, but we also just bought a new crossbow, and so I'm hoping that this will work out. I hear the little ring ring. And then we also got a better pistol as well. Oh, perfect. I can always use more, I'll use more coins. Coins are always good. And I think we'll stick around this top area and kind of see what this, we'll check out this village to the west as we're we'll making our way down, the, making our way downtown. Um... And I don't see any- oh! Someone found me. Oh, Spaniard. Oh, they're both chasing after me. Ooh. Whoa! Hello! Oh, I missed my tomahawk. Oh, ow! Damn it! <laughs> you don't shoot me! Ouch! Alright, let's see if I can find the tomahawks. I always lose- I seem always seem to lose these things. Oh, 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 got it. Perfect. And let's reload that crossbow. I do love how the old, what is it, 17th century weapons take forever to reload. I like that little extra touch for realism. Um, oh, no. Perfect. Oh, let's see what happened here. Page scrap. Uh, Chaplin, I have advised Mr. Burton of your concerns about his journal. He asserts that it was Benedict Harper's wish that he document everything he could about the naturals to prof profit the crown. He reasons that it is not sorcery but superstition that he has recorded and that it poses no more danger than the myths of the Greeks. I can see no fault in his reasoning. Alright. So already we have someone being accused of kind of like another witchcraft kind of area because he's documenting the Indians. That's something that I've noticed that they call the Indians the natural. So for those of you who are watching now, that's just a, head, that's a heads up. Um... Just run down here. Continue picking up the Spaniards as we run around. This is very much a stealth-based game, especially because it's it's interesting. You can you can charge in, but with the weapons that you have, it's kind of harder to just charge in and shoot things. You don't have like automatic rifles. I heard something over here. Where are you? There you are. Perfect. Not too bad. Um, I thought I kill us with the spade. I thought I killed one of those over here. Um, oh, and let's get our arrows back. Oh, there it is. I missed him. I walked right past him. And I heard the little ring ring again. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, there's two things. Oh, I can dig. Oh, lovely. So, first thing, uh, the remains of a woman. The front of the skull appears to have been caved in by a heavy blow. So I found a murder. Uh, let's dig this. Dug up a large rock caked with dried blood. So she was murdered with a rock. And we'll also dig up a distinctive wool shell spattered with dried blood. Alright, so this woman is murdered and they try to hide the evidence by burying it. Which I just dug up. Perfect. And, oh, something else over here. Yay, money, money, money. Uh, let's grab that. Um, let's continue pushing on. We're almost there. We're almost there. And I'm hoping this will unlock a new area as well. 
And actually, what I'm really hoping is I don't get something like the last game where I run, I went to the village, I cleared that out, and right when I thought it was all done, boom, I heard like cannons and well, it was a it was a bell, I think it was like a bell or trumpet. I heard some sort of like I heard something big going on, and then I got like swarmed with Spaniards. Uh, let's take him out. And they are everywhere here. Let's examine this. And Bailey, midwife, who was murdered. Awesome. Uh, I want the one to pick up so I can go, like, try... Oh, I don't want to fight him yet, actually. Change of plans. Uh, that's, a, that's a big guy. And... Oh, fuck, someone saw me. Nope, big guy saw me. Ooh. And here comes everyone charging after me. Oh, no, please, please. Time out, time out. Time out. Oh, God, how many of them are there? Get out of here. Yeah. Oh. Ow, stop it. Let's heal really quickly. And... Ow, fuck. And let's heal again. Oh, Jesus, stop shooting me. Uh, let's take him. Come on, come on, come on. Don't. Don't hit me. Alright. Oh. Big guy's gonna chuck something at me. Oh. Ow. Stop it. I don't appreciate it. I don't like getting shot at. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of ammo up here, though. Come on, give me something good, something good, something good. Nope, no, no, no. And. Ow! Have to heal one more time. Finish him off. And. Oh, ow, I still got hit. I was hoping I'd miss that. Um, okay, so it's just the big guy up there, wherever he ran off to. Uh, I think the crossbow is. Uh, yeah, I think the crossbow is uh, most amount of damage. Right here? Oh, he's, there he is. I was like, where the hell did he go? <laughs> Can I exploit him? Screw you. Oh! Ow! Oh, I have three health left. Ha ha ha! Oh, I got an achievement. Place of interest. Ow. But I unlocked a new area, so I cleared all the enemies here. That's good. <laughs> That's why this is much a stealth, very much a stealth game. I almost died or anything, and it was, lucky that, it was only lucky that I had all that healing. Um, let's see, can I pick up anything else? No. If you guys are trying to figure out how I know where I'm running, if you look at the compass, there's like a bunch of little triangles at the very top of the compass in the middle of it. That kind of shows you where items are. So like, like, so like ammo and things like that. Just, it's pretty helpful. And I almost have all of my... Perfect, I almost have all my pistol ammo back. Um, I hear a bunch of stuff in here. There's a lot going on here. Oh, there's a page scrap. A page scrap by the order of Honorable Lord Governor James Markley. From this day forward, no member of this colony shall consort or have conference with the naturals without leave of captain or council upon pain of death. For even a small personal fear between one man and another might lead to a great rift between us and the tribe could, that could cost many English lives. Alright. So things are... Oh, perfect. I need, I need that. Uh... The water, uh, I need my magical water healing powers. Um, read from the page wrap. Uh, Mr. Barnes returned with reports of Indian sentries fanning out to the west to intercept any party attempting to pass that way. He has found a promising route that should take us well south of the disputed area and avoid any quarrel. It is my wish that we conclude this expedition without harming the friendship we have built with the tribe. Um, oh. Oh, I can't dig it up. Shoot. I don't have a, my shovel's not good enough. All right, all right, cool. So we kind of explore this, and we—it's always the end. So like this one seems more of Indian Indian conflicts. And ooh, there's a lot of Spaniards here, though. A lot, way more than I was expecting. I was expecting more of the Indians because they keep talking about Indians and the naturals. Um, I wonder if I can like go up and like hit him with a. Nope, no what? I can't hit him with a melee tag. <laughs> he turned around too quickly. Uh, all right, so let's head this way. Oh, I don't know where he is. Where is he? 
Oh, there you are. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, thank you, Halo, for preparing me for this. <laughs> um, oh. oh, here's just a bow. How about we both have, we have it? We'll duel. Ah, no! My armor bounced off his armor. There you go, I win. Oh, that did like no damage. That only took six points of the health off. Man, I wish I could find more bow people instead. I don't want to get shot with the musket. Um, something should be over here. Oh, there it is. I hear it. Is it a chest? Please be a chest. Chest, yes. So there are like a couple main types of collectibles. You have the chest, which give you money, and that's how you get like buy items and upgrade things. You get like charms, which give you like buffs. Ah, uh, I can't do it yet. This is what, okay. So this is what one of the totems is. This is how you progress through the next areas. And so like I think here, yeah, the Fort Hope. That's gonna be my next area I go to. Um, I have to I have to purge and cleanse all the totems. And so that's the next thing I have to go do. But I'll, I can only do that at night, and I'll show you guys later on. And for those who are just joining me in for this one, I have no idea what the hell the is all about. Um, after that, we have page graphs, which kind of give you like little background information about the area. And it's kind of like, hey, so here's what's going on. And it kind of progresses the story. And then we have like the clues and artifacts. That's another big thing. And so like those are like... Oh, cool, cool term. Excellent. But so... Um... Earlier, when I was when I found like the uh, rock with the blood splatter and the remains of the woman, those are clues, and so that's how I used to help ghosts out. And that kind of again, that's more story driven. Show you, tell you what happened in this area. Oh, ow! Oh, you bastard! Ow, that hurts. Oh, now let's heal. Ow, son of a bitch! Ow. Um, what else? Uh, these kind of count as collectibles, like all the, like again, they're all the buried stuff, but those kind of, I think of those clues and investigations. Um, the other thing is graves. Graves kind of show you, like, who all, who, who's died, and they kind of, again, they kind of provide some kind of background sometimes. Because, like, sometimes you'll be like, oh, this place was ravaged by a sickness, or this place was ravaged by Spaniards, or the Indians, the Naturals. And so you just kind of, again, just, you just get to see who died and who's still left alive. Oh, there's another, there's another one. That's what I was looking for, darn. Alright, so I have to go, once when I can find the bell, the magical bell, so I can go into the spirit world. Now to go purge and cleanse that totem. Um, let's carry on. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of, that's a lot of Spaniards. I can just, I can just feel it, there's gonna be a bunch of them in this town. Um... Oh, did it bounce off of his armor? Son of a bitch. I was hoping it would kill him, just... Yep. Well, he alerted everybody, so, so much for being stealthy. Ooh. And... Ah. What'd he sh... I don't know what he shot me with. It might have just been a pistol. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, ow, they both shot me. You assholes. Uh, let's pick one of them off. There we go. Let's quickly reload. And I still have 77 health, so it's not too bad. Ooh, whoa! I just saw that fly over my head! Ah! Leave me alone! I'm just a poor boy. And nobody loves. And. How many more people are getting alerted to my position? Ah! I'm just glad that the other one hasn't come around and flanked me yet. <laughs> the AI in this game is kind of entertaining. <laughs> oh, I missed. I no. There we go. And oh, wow. All right. Oh, he hit me with a pistol. Shit. Ow! I didn't think he. I only thought he had a musket. Damn it. No. I have to start all the way back. <laughs> no, please. All right. Well, that sucks. 
Well, and of course, right when I spawned, I alerted more enemies to the, my area. Uh. All right, let's kill you, and let's ho tomahawk you, and you. Oh. Uh, and someone has a bow. Whoa! Hello! Ow! Stop it. Stop it. I don't have much ammo. Stop it. Oh, you cuck. Damn it. Now, nah, alright. So at least I'm back here. And look, the lady in red decided to show up over back here. Um, do you have anything useful to say? Actually, let me get my heels. Um... Uh, mid and red. We often pass through this area, but rarely stay very long. Those who live here seem to have little use for the rest of us. They are eager to be away from the larger settlements, even knowing there are no walls or soldiers to defend them. Alright. I think I need to buy some ammunition. At considerable risk to my personal welfare, I found a few additional items. Thank you, John Howe Merchant. These were hard-won prizes and therefore offered at somewhat higher price than I normally ask, but such is the way of the merchant trade. A quality longbow. Hmm... Hmm. Well, let's sell some crap I don't need. Like, I don't. I know I don't need. Uh. We'll, we'll keep the common short bow in case I want to switch over to that. We don't need that crude pistol. We don't need that rusty musket. We don't need that rusty musket. Uh. Don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, crude charm of swiftness. Oh, actually, we can swap these out. So we'll swap the quality um, charm of ferocity with the crude charm of ferocity because it's going to give me. Yeah, so this one, so the crude one gives 150% melee damage, while this one does 220, 200, 250% damage, 50% extra damage. All right, yeah. So it's still the crude charm, and we'll keep the swiftness one because I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. All right, let's go back to the store. And we have 3,000 bucks to spend. I'm thinking... Well, first we have to make sure we have... Let's see here. Okay, yeah, so I do need to buy some... I need to buy some more ammunition, I think. Let's see here. My bow is good. What about my crossbow? Yeah, I need to buy some more. Let's buy, I think, 12. Okay, perfect. Nope, I can't carry any more tomahawks. Um, I think there's a way to get more... Ammunition, yeah, right here. Let's buy that, and then let's buy that, so I get some more. I think that's what that does. If, if I'm reading that correctly, I really hope that's what that does. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Sweet. Perfect. So now I can carry a little bit more ammunition. Excellent. And. All right, more ammunition for this, and let's head. God damn it! I have to go all the way back down there. Uh, south. Nope, southeast. Whoops! I got my directions way mixed up. So off we go. And running simulator at its finest. I have to run all the way back to where I just died. Uh. I have to go kill the Spaniards back there. What's so sad is that, like, I was so close. I'm pretty sure he was the last guy in order to clear that area off, but then he whipped out a pistol right before he even should kill him. I didn't think he had a pistol. Like I said, I, don't, I literally thought he only had a musket. I should have tomahawked him, but oh well. Oh well. Live and let learn. Alright, so we're gonna come. Oh, we're coming from a different area angle. And let's see here if we're gonna he find any Spaniards to kill. Yeah, I hear the big guy. I do not want to fuck with him quite yet. And oh, perfect. So I got one with the sneak attack. Uh, maybe I can take out a couple of these guys with sneak attacks. And <laughs> let's run to our favorite rock over here. Uh, son of a bitch. Oh, can I grab? Just got my bolt back. Excellent, excellent. Come on, serpentine, serpentine. Oh, he's about ready to fire at me. I hear. Oh, I hear him right here. Nope. 
no, no, no. And, ow. Ow. I could have sworn that other guy got alerted, so where the hell did he go? I have 90 health, so I don't need to heal quite yet. I don't know where that other guy went, but he definitely saw me. I guess he just didn't give a fuck and left. Alright, well, I'll take that, and... Uh, oh, I think that's him. <laughs> Did he see me? Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. What are you barking at? Oh, dog. I know you hear the other dogs. Leave them alone. <laughs> I know. I know, puppy. I, I know. Give me one second, guys. And I'm back. Sorry about that. The stupid neighbor's dog were like flipping out. And of course, I set my dog off. Alright, so. Oh, of course. So now that everyone knows where I'm at. Oh, let's heal really quickly. Oh, I didn't even kill him. Oh, that didn't kill him. Oh, you ass. That guy's coming with a musket. I can see it already. And. Oh, how did he miss me? Not complaining, just concerned. I hear people. Ow. Uh, let's switch my crossbow and see if I can pick up that guy shooting at me from over there. Oh, excellent. Oh, hello, buddy. And, oh, one more tomahawk shoot to finish him. Yeah! My tomahawk's back. And it's fine, the less. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. Hey, there we go. We got the cabin's destination. And all the areas here are unlocked. Cool. Alright, let's go get my loot. Uh, let's pick up this crap. Let's see here. Get some of these. Uh, grab all that. Get some more of the items. Silver ring. Uh, please don't pop it. One of the things that this game does well is, like, sometimes, like, I I've only- Whoa! I've only had one crate do it, but I had a giant, like, spider pop out of the crate, and now I'm, like, terrified of every crate I see. Jeez, there's so much poison stuff everywhere. Well, let's check out this note, though. Page wrap. Um, even I have seen these figures smoke drifting among the trees in the days since Bandit Harper departed. If we are to believe the savages that they were roused by the trespasses of the expedition party, then we must believe them that it is our treasures of gold and silver that these apparitions covet. And so, such valuables must be hidden away. They're seeing things. Oh, it looks skeleton. Is that a skeleton? It is. I missed that. Um, the remains of a man. Among them, he found a bloody shirt, now crusted and dry with a ragged tear near the nape of the neck. Oh. Oh. Interesting. There's something more towards the center of the town than up. So let's go east. Let's see what collectible is over here. And here you are. I can't dig you up. Excellent. Nope. I'm like scared. Um. Oh, I found the bell. Uh, there's a page scrap here. A uh, page scrap. Oh god, that's a. Oh my god, that's a long one. All right, guys, ready? Let's hear a story. <clears throat> Today, I was told the story of two brothers. When while hunting, the young one slipped and fell from a high path and was injured. So the older one made a shelter for him and lit a fire and said he would return when he had finished the hunt, where the family would soon starve if they returned empty-handed. One night, fell a strange horse called out and asked to share the fire. For the night was cold and evil things were afoot. The wounded hunter agreed, and soon a skeleton came forward and sat down on a flat stone beside him. The hunter trembled with fear but said nothing, and when he woke the next morning the skeleton was gone. He thought it must have been a dream, but that night the skeleton returned and again asked to share the fire. Again, neither of them spoke again, and and again the skeleton was gone by daybreak. Just before nightfall on the third day, the older brother returned. He was very solemn for he had killed no quarry, but he knew he must return the younger brother home before he became too weak to travel. It was too late to depart, so they decided to leave at dawn. The younger brother warned that they might have a visitor, but insisted that the older brother must tolerate their guest no matter how he felt upon seeing him. The older brother agreed. Soon enough, the strange horse called out just as it had before. 
The older brother recoiled when he saw the skeleton come forward into the firelight, but the younger brother put a hand on his arm. They all sat quietly until the brothers fell asleep. When they woke in the morning, the skeleton was gone, and three freshly killed rabbits lay before them on the stone where the skeleton had sat. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, can I take this up? Yes. Clue. I found a simple wooden hairpin. Alright. I missed something. Oh, I think that's the yeah, that's the sun I couldn't dig up. Um, let's drink some water and get some magical healing juju. And there's some stuff to the south, so I'm gonna grab those. I also need to figure out where the hell this bell's supposed to go. Because I have not seen a bell perch. Unless it's, I have to go all the way back to the other area. But if that's the case, I'll just probably just fast travel. Um, oh, page scrap. Oh, let's see here. We were served by the Indian's king, Indian king's own daughter, a most inquisit, inquisitive and lovely girl. Her name is Amonuts. Hmm. Oh, I can take something else. Clue, dug up a silver pendant that appears to have housed a cameo. The cameo is missing. All clues are found. Um, I don't think I explored over here. So I still have like this chunk of area in the south and central regions to discover. So, right, so we're going to run down to the southwest and we'll fast travel back up. Um, and then we'll see if I can find that bell toll. Because that's the only thing I have. I, don't think, I haven't seen that yet. I need to find a little bell perch so I can slap the bell on and I can ring it. And I can go into the spirit world and help out the spirits. That's probably my favorite part about this game. I love the... Okay, so that's that. Oh, wait, maybe it did come through here. Maybe it did check this out. I might have checked this out the more I think about it. But, better safe than sorry. Let's run back up. Um, how am I doing? I need to reload my pistol, so let's do that. How about my crossbow? Crossbow's good. Excellent. And, oh, there you go, check it to less. Um, oh, here we go, at the little gazebo. Eh, I can't dig you up. Alright, perfect. Alright, so let's actually just fast travel back to the cabins, because I checked these two. And then we'll check out the rest of the area. So let's go down. Uh, uh, I think we just do the furthest one first. So I'm going to go run to the south. I can't dig you up. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. So we're going to run all the way to the south, and we'll see a Spaniard glistening in the sunlight. <laughs> all right, Edward. Um... Whoa, someone saw me. Oh, I didn't realize there's two of them. I only saw the one. Oh, it's a big guy, too. Oh, there's three of them. Ha oh, ha ha, you missed, buddy. Well, I missed. <laughs> I can't say much, I guess. Uh, let's chuck a couple of tomahawks at him. Oh, grab this one back, grab it, grab it, grab it. Ho ho! Hey! That's how we do it. Get my tomahawks back. And let's loot these suckers. Anything good? Anything good? No. Nothing that good. Can't get more of the ammo type. So I think that's more for my bow and arrow because I have not been touching it because it's not that good if we're being honest. The biggest problem is I don't know if I want to buy more stuff because, like, like. I'm, I'm, I'm very particular when I buy things, especially when you have this upgrade system like the Betrayer has right now. Because what if I buy a gun, but then the, one, the moment I go to the next area, there's an even better quality gun that does twice as much damage. So I'll wait for a bit. Um, Grave. John Pori died of the sickness. Poor John. What a way to go. Oh, uh, what's this? Explosive. I have a lot of explosives on me. <laughs> I'm a kind of a dangerous man. Eastern path. That's why. That's where that is. Eastern path. I don't know where. I think that's. Oh, well, I think that's deep. Uh, get to the next area. Um. Let's take you out. And I have that guy to find. So once he stops moving. Perfect. All right. And page graph and a chest. Perfect. Excellent. All right. What does what this have to say? Uh, page graph. We came across an Indian camp where six hunters lay dead of a strange sickness. Their skin was black and their eyes clouded over, and the stench of them was so foul we could scarcely approach. Lovely. So there's a sickness in these woods. 
Hmm. Very interesting. I'm just more confused why I haven't seen any of the Indians. I would have thought like this area would have been crawling with the Indians. And they're like the biggest pain in the ass to kill in this game. Because the Spaniards, at least you can see them. The only problem with the Spaniards is sometimes their armor like blocks your arrows and stuff like that. But dear god, the Indians are so hard to see. And then they charge you and they run all over the place. Ugh. The Indians are definitely the hardest enemy to get in this game. Oh, I missed something way back down there. So let's go grab that and we'll fast travel back up to cabin and get these three checkpoints right here. Because I found all the clues. I want to find all the chests and the scraps before and then I need to go find out where I need to where my bell goes. And then we can enter the spirit world. Come on. I do love those like the weather effects. I do love the wind and how bright it blows the trees. Because there's a super cool thing about this. I actually don't know if I even talked about it, but the wind acts as a um it masks your footsteps. So, like right now, people can hear me running, and so if I like if they hear me running, they know exactly where I am. But the wind it blocks all that sound off, and so the enemies can't hear you running during the wind. That's that's a, it's just like a nice touch. I think it's it's kind of cool. It's unique. I don't think I've ever played a game like that. And if there are other games that are like if because like, I I don't know I don't I don't think there are any other stealth games that do that. And so it's just kind of cool. I enjoy it. And let's get you. Let's finish you off, and then there's this guy over here. Oh, nice! That was beautiful. I don't think I've ever pulled it. Like, I've been doing well with my like trick shots, and my stealth shots. I'm doing very well. Now let's grab this chest, and let's collect our bolt back from this guy over here. Uh, I thought the guy was over here. Where the hell did he go? I thought I thought, I thought the other guy was like somewhere over here. Sorry, I, oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. I was just a little further down the road. Uh, let's get ourselves back. And let's go back to over here. I see something glistening in the sunlight. Another grave. Does this mean is this the last grave? I hear lies Rolf Bruster. That's all I know. <laughs> Alright, so Rolf Bruster, so good to know. And alright, well that was it. Okay. And so chess, I'm gonna have to wait until I purge all the uh, totems. And looks like there's one more chest over here. Come on. I think that's gonna be the empty one, because they're a thief ghost that steal stuff. Oh, never mind then. I don't know where the thief I don't know where that thief is then. Usually they have ghosts that, like usually there's a ghost that, that steals a treasure from it. And you have to go hunt it down. But I'm terrible at killing them. Alright, cool. Uh, let's run around here and check and see if I can find out where the bell goes. Um so I'm starting to wonder if it goes back, like, in the other settlement, because that's where the Lady in Red was. And usually she, like, wa usually when, she, like, where she goes, that's where the bell goes. But we'll have to see. Um, because I don't see anything over here. Uh... Oh. Poison gas. This is, uh, it's creepy. I don't, like, the sound effects are good, just... They do a good job of making it sound just creepy. See it over here. Uh, I'm looking for a pole. All right, let's go to the other place. Let's go back to this cabin over here. Cause so I found you. There it is. I was. I knew it. I was right. Place bell. Replace the bell. Excellent. All right, let's get some ready for some loud ass music and sound effects, and let's go. Let's go. All right, let's listen. Where are you? I think this is where the... What's over here? I... Come on. Some sort of ghost over here. Come on. I love how creepy this looks. The fog and the darkness. Yep. All right. My. All right. Everything's all set up. Let's go. Let's do the totem. All right. There's one down. Two down. Oh. Ow. Ow. Tomaku and. Oh shoot! Ow. I... 
I thought I killed you. <laughs> I thought I reloaded it. Damn it. All right, cool. Let's heal up. All right. That one wasn't too bad. There have been some worse ones. Someone's calling me from over here. I hear way to the east. I bet it's gonna be the cabins. Oh, never mind. I, I was wrong. He was much closer than I expected. I thought I had to go. I, was, I thought I was gonna have to, like book it all the way to the cabins. I thought I saw a skeleton over here. I guess I did not see a skeleton over here. Huh, Could have sworn I saw one. This game makes me paranoid. I hear you, buddy. Let me save you. Where are you? There you are. Hello, Mr. Oh. Man, these th these enemies are co like coming more and more common now. You would never, I would never see them. All right, hello. I lost my way home. The sound of the bell will guide you. So now I either have to go to the cabins or I have to go back to where I was just at. Let's see here. South. There's something. Oh wait, this. I think this is the next. Uh, I think this is the next totem right down here. Yep. All right, let's clear that out then. Let's just get out of the way with. The totems are cool. Like they're like they're the things that like make make like I, like it makes the game the shrill scream. Like like I said, this game does a very good job just being creepy. Let's heal up really quickly. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I hear him. Um, I only see one enemy. Oh, there's there are the other ones. Let's get rid of you first. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, you take care of you. No! Ow! Ow! <laughs> ow. A lot- oh, wait, where the hell did all my stuff go? Don't- oh god, did I just lose all my tomahawks? No! No, not my tomahawks. At least the corruption's gone, but my tomahawks. I need those. There's one. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, might as well grab this chest. Lovely. I don't know where my last tomahawk went. Uh, is this it? Yeah! Perfect. Alright, let's go back to cabins. And let's drink some of this freshly made water. And run to the east, because that's where my... That's where my spooky sound effects told me to go. No, please stop. No more. I don't want to fight you. God damn it. Oh, Let's go get this tomahawk back. And what's over here? Something good? Just a bolt. That's it. Literally just my crossbow bolt. Oh, and a silver skull. I'll take it. And because we're right here, I might as well just use this water. Alright, Mr. Ghost. You're starting to piss me off. That's when I find you and help you. And we'll figure out what happened here. Because we found a woman who was killed with her head bashed by a rock. Found a hairpin. Oh, found you. Oh, you're that one guy who just... Was your head taken from you? Oh, there's always that. I shall seek to return it to you. Alright. I think we're gonna have to go back up to... Yeah, I think we're... Okay, at some point we have to go back up to the, the bell. And for now... Actually, let's just go there now. I think the head got the guy's head is over in this direction as well. All right, so who are you? My sister Catherine hasn't returned. Where'd you last see her? I, I remember striking her. She was in tears. She ran out of the house. I was seething with anger. They don't remember why. Who are you, Lewis? Lewis Archard. I found this shawl near the remains of a woman not far from here. 
I remember staring down at her, wondering how it had come to this, wondering what I had done. She recognized his bloody shirt. I remember Jeffrey Hunt writhing on the ground, moaning in agony. I could see he was dying, but I stayed with him until the end. What lovely story so far. Ugh. It's either another ghost, or it is the head, the guy's head. I don't know. Can I jump over these? Perfect. Some of the rocks you can't jump over. Um, I'm coming. I'm on my way. Hello, you're the ghost. Alright, who are you? I must apologize to Lewis. I must tell him I'm sorry for making him angry. It, oh, there's the girl. Is her wood shoal? Yes, so you're Catherine. Yes, what happened to you, Catherine? I couldn't breathe. Hands were choking me. I tried to pull them away, but they were too strong. I grabbed his finger and twisted as hard as I could. His voice cried out, savage and guttural, and his grip loosens. I clambered away and ran. I realized I was holding his ring. It must have come off of my hands. Uh, found a gold ring inlaid with small rubies from the sides. It was likely worn by a man. Well, she also said that she pulled off his ring. Like, that'd be like the very first thing I would think of. <laughs> but that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> um, where's the... I'm trying to find that guy's head. But the only thing I can hear is calling it back here, actually. Alright, off we go. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Time out, I'm sorry. I don't wanna fight. Fighting's- ah! Fighting's bad, fighting's bad. You gave me no choice. Oh, let's quickly heal. Get 40 points of health back. Um, so the guy smacked his sister and she ran off and they found her dead. I'm starting to think that he is the one who killed her. But I don't know. There you are. Ugh. I'm glad that there's more of these, like, like it's, it's, I'm glad I'm getting more, like, money from the skulls, but it's, they're kind of a pain to kill. Especially, like, the very first one attack. I think I'm getting the hang of it now. That's the important thing. That color difference, though. Whew. Alright. Is this your ring? Do you recognize this gold ring? It is mine. So you choked out your sister. I told Catherine she must stay away from Jeffrey Hunt. She said she would not. I remember yelling at her then, but she was still at but still she argued, so I struck her. She was in tears. She ran out of the house. I was seething with anger. That's it. Oh, God. So it sounds like this guy killed his sister because he didn't like the guy she was dating. So, gentlemen, be warned. If he, if the, if a girl, if your girl's uh, brother doesn't like you carefully, he might kill you and the girl. That's kind of what this story is sounding like. I'm going to backstab you. Get out of here. All right, there's another ghost over here. Let's see, come on. What's going on? Oh. Over here. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna find the ghost of the dude now. Or I'm going to find the skull. Ah! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Nope, please. No, no. Take you out. Ah. Take you out as well. Perfect. Alright. Oh, I can't take you out. Yeah, I can't take you out through your rock. So sad. Oh, man. I almost died there. And... East. Maybe near the cabins. Let's find out. Oh, I think it's right next to the cabins, actually. Can I listen? There you are. Here the other goat. Never mind. Aha! Who are you? You found a stone knife. Dried blood is caked on the blade. That's it. That's all I was told. Ah. Lovely. Jesus. 
What does the knife have to do with anything? Is it tied with the other story? What's going on with the knife? Hello. Alright, I'm here. I believe I found your skulls. Oh. I found the dude's skull back. Oh, so it looks like we have to go back to Fort Hope. Let's trash fast travel there. I think we're gonna have to talk to this. Yeah. Ah, oh, you asshole. What'd you do? Do you recognize the stone knife? I remember that. I remember staring down at Catherine, wondering how to come to this, wondering what I'd done and what I'd failed to do. I thought she was clutching my gold ring, the one Jeffrey Hunt had taken from me when I told him to, when I told him never to hurt her again. He seized my arm and pulled the ring off, saying next time I threatened him, it would cost me more than a trinket. I remember him writhing on the ground, moaning in agony. I could see he was dying, but I stayed with him till the very end to make sure. I left this knife in the wound, so it would, so it would be thought that Indians had killed him, and I would not have to answer for his death. Wow. What a story. What a story. Man. Wow. Alright, well. Looks like this area is now complete. So let's ring the bell and... Talk to the lady in red and tell her what I learned. Alright, I think people, some people choose to live in the hill hoping the hike would discourage the villagers. I learned the fate of a wraith. What'd you learn? Lewis Archer killed the man who killed his sister. Ugh. Then he made himself a murderer to avenge his murderer. He prized his desire for vengeance above his neighbor's desire for order and justice. Okay, okay. So I guess I mis I mis I guess I misunderstood that. So I think I wonder if he was like a jealous lover. I wonder if that's what this was. It's not. I wonder, okay, so I wonder if that guy who killed this was a jealous lover. And then the brother killed the guy. Okay, I have a gift for you. What is it? I'm gonna give you a gold ring. Why are you giving it to me? Mmm. It can easily be bartered. A most practical notion. This hairpin. Why are you giving it to me? It has practical value and should not go to waste. Then, though I already have one, I shall keep it in case I lose mine. <laughs> this cameo pendant. The cameo is missing. Why are you giving it to me? Um, <laughs> you can pretend it depicts my visage. I think I see plenty enough of that, al <laughs> that already. <laughs> Ouch. All I want to do is flirt, and it's not working. Alright. Everything else I can't dig up, and I actually might be able to venture off to the next area. And I, don't, I think it's just up here. Let's see, I might just, I might just be able to go up. But we'll have to see. Uh, read Fort Hope. Let's go to Fort Hope, because I think I can actually travel now. I don't think my path's going to be blocked. Um, I can. I can go to Fort Hope now. Excellent. Jeez. This game. And let's see how big Fort Hope is, because I don't think I want to spend too much time, more time playing this game, because it's already been an almost, yeah, it's almost been an hour so far. So I don't want to spend too much time wasting you guys' time. Um, let's see here. Fort Hope. Oh, okay. There's some totems here. There's a lot to explore in this area. So actually, I think we're going to just actually just stay right here for the next area. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay I've been doing so far. And I hope you thank you for joining me for those who chose to stick around until the very end. Uh, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos that I upload. I've been doing a lot of Killing Floor 2 news updates. I've been doing my Let's Play videos with New to Vegas and then this game, Betrayer. Um, also, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you disliked it and just thought it was stupid and like, you didn't like it whatsoever, to give it a dislike and let me know in the comments why you didn't like this video. All that, you can follow me on Twitter. You can also follow me on Twitch. I stream every Friday at 7.30 p.m. And that's going to be on Pacific Coast, yeah, Pacific sign, uh, Pacific time zone. All that, ladies and gentlemen, have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you next on Friday for Fallout New Vegas or next week for another video betrayer. Take care, everybody.